Okay, Marjorie's. I love adding a, a touch of plant life in every room. I think it adds a really luxurious touch, but I like to do it in a different and inventive way. And so today we're gonna make DIY orchid terrariums, okay? Yeah. Now our first step is installing the rocks because the rocks are gonna act on the bottom as a irrigation system for the water. Okay. And let's start with the heaviest ones first. And you're gonna gently place them in the bottom. Most people overwater and the roots like drown essentially. Wow, that's so, me. <laughs> yeah. So this is gonna help stop that. These are the smaller pebbles. We're just using them as filler. All right. So we're gonna take some of that moss, like a peat moss, and okay. we're gonna let it soak with a little bit of water so that it acts as the base for the actual orchids. Okay, we'll need our gloves on because we're okay. gonna start filling it up with aerated potting mix. It can get messy. We're gonna take our orchid out of its vessel. Okay. And to do that, you wanna grab the base of it like this and just sort of turn it upside down so that you don't have to pull it out, you see? Yeah. I'm just gonna wrap a little wire around it just so that it stays all together, my little orchid ball. And now we're just gonna place it inside. Okay. Now we can take this filler moss and sort of go around the edges and then we'll top it off on the side so that it looks all pretty. I'm just filling in the the gaps. How does that look? It looks great. Now just put in some of that pretty deco moss. You know what, Marjorie? To find more ideas of projects just like this, all you gotta do is go to homemadesimple.com or check out our Pinterest page at Homemade Simple. Oh, I love Pinterest. All I've gotta do is get these sprayed and then we're all finished. Perfect. I love it. It's so cute.